everyone and welcome to another episode of Draw With Me where we put 10 minutes on the clock and try and draw as much as we possibly can. Now, the challenge is a personal challenge, so whether you're drawing heads, torsos, full bodies, drawing with crayons, markers, color pencils, digital tools, it does not matter as long as you are pushing yourself to try and get to the next level in your artistic journey. Now, the one thing that we do together is that we draw the same character and we are gonna continue with mayhem and villainy and today's character is Deadpool. Now, if you do not know how to draw Deadpool, that is completely fine. You can just go ahead and hit the pause button on this video, go grab your reference and your materials, and when you are ready, just come on back and then we will get started. All right, well, welcome back. We're gonna put 10 minutes on the clock and then we are gonna get started in three, two, one. All right, so Deadpool. Everybody loves Deadpool. Like, what I've realized is that everybody loves Deadpool, and I'm thinking everyone loves Deadpool now, especially now, because of Ryan Reynolds. Right, like, he, he, he cannot even deny the fact at how good Ryan Reynolds was as playing Deadpool. I think he was, he was pretty much destined to play uh, <laughs> Deadpool because you know he tried he tried real hard with um, oops, with Green Lantern and that that was just a mistake was like that was just a mistake that happened and you know we can't really blame him for that he tried and that was his that was the superhero movie he got <laughs> they did him dirty with that movie but you know, Deadpool. You know, he, he's a fun character. I just, I always have. I, I don't know if it's like I always have a problem with, but I kind of always have a problem with like these in betweeners. It's like all right, everyone doesn't need to be a half good guy, half bad guy, right? Make a choice and stick with it. That's me. That's what I think. Yeah, you know, like, and yet, and and not saying that you you can't have. You know, like. Oh, we should have a good guy and a bad, you know, like a someone who's like mm, we don't really know whether or not he's gonna be good or bad, you know. He's kind of kind of the person who who doesn't have any, you know. It's like doesn't actually have morals, but but if we pay him enough, he'll be on our side, type of deal. I'm like, all right, cool, you know. It's all fun, nice and dandy. That's all gravy, right? But. I don't know. It seems like everybody now is this like in betweener type type characters, and it's, just, it's getting kind of old <laughs> to me, at least. I mean, but once again, it's it doesn't matter. You know, what I mean, it doesn't, like it doesn't matter what I think. And so, but um, but yeah, I I like Deadpool, right? I think that he's fun. I also I'm also not a big fan of characters that just cannot die, right? Like that doesn't that doesn't sit with me either. Wait, what else is that? Okay. So you know what I mean? It's just certain things. It's just like, eh, come on, man. Okay. So pull that out a little further, like, like so. Right, right there. Oh, up, up, up. Okay, like so. Here we go. This can be like that and then um but with w at least with Deadpool you know he he seems he seems to deal with it in a be better way I don't know I, I like watch like him instead of Wolverine all day right like because with Wolverine he is just like invincible and I know that people have beat him you know, Magneto ripped out his his animantium and all that stuff, but I mean, he's just he's that character who you're like, oh, Wolverine's involved. All right, we won. <laughs> it's like if you remember back when you were a kid, and then you were playing any type of sport, and then uh, the one the one neighborhood kid shows up, and you're like, oh man. Unless he was on your team, <laughs> you're like, oh yeah, yeah I don't. Know. 
gonna go up and be like, Billy's on our side. Like, sweet, that means we're gonna win today. <laughs> but if you weren't on Billy's team, you knew you were gonna lose, and that's kind of what Wolverine does. And for me, at least with uh, Deadpool, it seems like he, he gets beat up a lot. The only thing is, is that he can't, you know, he just can't die. So, I guess that's the big difference for me. You know, it's just like, well, yeah, he's invincible, right? Because you can put him back together. Like, he puts himself back together and stuff like that. But he's not hes not the one who's always winning. And that's... That always meant something to me. You know, like, give me, give me something. Like, a reason to like you. And... I guess I'm talking about Wolverine because of the new Wolverine, you know, new Deadpool movie that's coming out. And Wolverine's gonna be part of it, um, which I'm, I'm, you know, cool. I like Hugh Jackman and all that kind of good stuff. It's just, I don't know. It just maybe it's because everyone w loves Wolverine. <laughs> I, I never really did like him as a character, but that's just me, right? You are. I don't want you to feel bad. You are loud. You are allowed to like whoever you like. We're gonna go ahead and because there there are times when I like Wolverine, right? Depending on the story they're trying to tell with him. So yeah, so you know it's it's not like he's the I'm like oh my goodness he's the worst thing ever. And that's not the case. That's not what we're saying. It's just he, I'm not, oh 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 no. Are you okay? <laughs> oh man. It's... Are you okay? I am. I'm sorry about the recording. No, you're fine. <laughs> was it loud? Yes. I fell down the stairs. You fell down the stairs? Yes. Oh no. Oh my goodness. Bam, 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 bam. There we go. Alright, let's fill in the blanks. So, sorry about cutting out the audio there. <laughs> you heard that. Everyone's okay. So Deadpool, I don't know. What what do we what should we say about Deadpool? <laughs> he is definitely beloved. And he's very I think and he's very funny. Even in the even in the comics he's very funny. Right? So I, I do appreciate that. And um, I appreciate that Rob Liefeld was able to give us this kind of character. I forgot who co created it with him, but um you know, I'm glad that that worked out for him. He's a cool character and all. But. Um, I, I always, I mean, because they always do the, the assassin stuff. And so all the assassins have swords. So I'm always thinking that everyone's a ninja. Like when I was a kid, right? When they kept showing all these characters and they all had these katanas and stuff. I'm like, oh, these are all ninjas. Right? They weren't. But they didn't change anything because I thought they were. So I was able to enjoy a lot of my own fandom <laughs> through all these people. And Deadpool was one of the first. And I liked the fact that I liked that he had guns and uh, swords. Right? Just seemed efficient. So, early, early on, I liked, I really did like Deadpool. So, yeah. I just think that now, with all the extra tension that they're putting on him, he's losing his oomph. So, in, in, in. 
still got a minute. We might actually be able to finish. We hurry up. Here. Marker is on me. <laughs> yeah, that Sharpie wanted to be part of the thing for sure. Push this out like so. Oh. You know what? We'll just do that. Got a speed run through this. My students have been calling. <laughs> As my students have been calling their the last two weeks, like, oh, I've got to speed run all the projects. So, kudos to them. Kudos to them for finishing their assignments and whatnot. Four seconds. Well, we were close. Close, but no cigar. Not on this one. Um, but, you know, um, I think we got pretty close. Um, just a little bit more red and it would be done done. But sometimes it doesn't happen. But that's my push, right? Like, I'm trying to push to that next level to where I can get these done every single time with color. Um, and that is my challenge. And that's what I'm pushing towards. And sometimes I get really close and sometimes I don't. And so I'm really pushing for consistency because when I, once I can get that, mm, it's going to be great. And I hope that you have a challenge to yourself that you're actually pushing as well so that you too can make it to the next level within your artistic journey. I mean, that's why we're doing these now. If you are participating in these challenges, I would love to have you over on our Discord uh, community, community and Discord channel. So if you wouldn't mind just heading on over, the link is in the description below and come show us what you're working on. But if you'd rather stay on YouTube, I completely understand that, but please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell so that you get notified every single time that I drop new content. Thank you all so very much and I will see you at the next episode.